Hi, this is Wendy from Knitters Brewing, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to make these big double bobbles. And I call them double bobbles because they're worked over two stitches, so they're twice as wide as a, a regular bobble would be in this spot. Uh, this project is actually the holly berry wreath design of mine, and the bobbles in this project are designed to look like holly berries, so they are berry bobbles. The bobbles are worked over two stitches and they're done in a contrasting color. I cut the yarn between each one uh, because this project will be sewn around a foam wreath form. The inside will never show and therefore I don't have to worry about weaving in any of these ends. So that's a, a good thing, right? All right, so let's get started. I've got to the row where I need to put the bobble in and it's going to be worked over the next two stitches. So we're gonna pick up the contrast color, which in this case is red because we're kind of Christmassy here. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to knit one, yarn over, knit one, yarn over, knit one in each of these two stitches. So you're gonna do, you're gonna end up with five loops for each stitch. Okay, so there's knit one, and, and don't take this off the needle yet. Okay, then we do a regular yarn over. Now we're gonna knit one again, and then a yarn over, and then again, finally, knit one. So now you can see I have five loops on this needle coming out of one stitch. And because this is a double bobble, we're going to do the same thing on the next one. So knit, yarn over, knit, yarn over, knit. All right, and now five on that needle. So a total of 10 bobble stitches. Okay, next row, we flip it over, and now we're going to purl all 10 stitches. And um, they can wiggle around a little bit since some of them are knit and some are yarn over, but they're generally not too hard to sort out. There's a lot of different ways to make bobbles. So this is just one of many. You could just as easily do this over one stitch instead of making it a double bobble. Okay, so there we purl 10, tighten that down a little bit. All right, now we're back to the right side and we are going to knit 10. So far, so easy, huh? All right, now over the next two rows, we're going to reduce the number on each stitch from five back down to one. So flip it over and now we're on the wrong side. And for this row, we're going to purl two together, purl one, then slip, slip, purl two together for each group of five stitches. And that's gonna take each group of five down to three. So. Purl two together. Purl one. Now, slip, slip, purl. This is a mirrored decrease, so it'll look, it'll slant the opposite direction as the purl two together does. So to do this, first we slip the two stitches independently as if to knit. Then we move them back to the left hand needle, and now we purl them through the back loop. Normally when you purl things, you go through this front side, but what we're going to do is come around from the back and come up through the back side of these loops. Do it together, wrap it, pull the yarn through and off. 
So we had five, now we've got three. So let's do that again on these two. First we purl two together, purl one. Now that tricky little slip slip purl. So slip two of them knitwise, move them back to the left hand needle and insert the needle up through the back loop, wrap it and take it off. So we had 10 total stitches, now we have six. For the final row here, we're going to take it down to one stitch from each group of three. And to do that, we're going to do a double center decrease, which is worked as slip two together knitwise, knit one, and then pass those two slipped stitches over. And you get a centered decrease. Let's do that again. Slip two together knitwise, knit one. Pass the two slip stitches over. All right, we are done with the contrast color. All that's left is to move these two stitches back to the left hand needle. Pick up our main color yarn, which I've gotten a little bit twisted here. There we go. And knit these two. Oops. And you want to make sure you pull this so it's snug. You don't want a big gap between the stitches that were before the bobble and after the bobble. So there it is. That is the double bobble. <laughs>